Hello, I'm Ron Marinchin, coordinator of music ministries at Trinity Lutheran Church in Ashland, Ohio. Today is December 18th. For our devotions, let's use the responsive prayer to the suffrages for evening from uh, the Green LBW on page 164. It's similar to the um, page 328 from the red ELW. A little bit different, but, but similar. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray the prayer our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess the faith which we hold in common using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Today is the third Friday in December, and the third Friday in Advent a time when we await and prepare for the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ as a baby in Bethlehem. It is the time in Advent to use the O antiphons. The O antiphons, also known as the Great O's, are antiphons used at Vespers of the last seven days of Advent in Western Christian traditions, beginning December 17th and ending on December 23rd. Antiphones are short verses <coughs> sung back and forth by the congregation as part of a liturgy, often as a way of highlighting important verses of a song. <coughs> Excuse me. These are referred to as the O antiphons because each one begins with an O. Each antiphon uses a name of Christ, one of his attributes mentioned in Scripture. If these short prayers sound familiar, you are probably recalling the Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which is a hymn paraphrase of these seven prayers. You may want to take your hymn book and use the hymn for further study and prayer as we await the coming of the promised Messiah. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. <clears throat> o wisdom, coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from one end to the other, mightily and sweetly ordering all things, come and teach us the way of prudence. Amen. O Adonai, and leader of the house of Israel, who appeared to Moses in the fire of the burning bush 
and gave him the law on Sinai. Come and redeem us with an outstretched arm. Amen. O Root of Jesse, standing as a sign among the peoples, before you kings will shut their mouths. To you the nations will make their prayer. Come and deliver us, and delay no longer. Amen. O Key of David, and the scepter of the house of Israel, you open, and no one can shut. You shut, and no one can open. Come and lead the prisoners from the prison house, those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Amen. O morning star, splendor of light eternal and sun of righteousness, come and enlighten those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Amen. O King of the nations, and their desire, the cornerstone making both one, come and save the human race, which you fashioned from clay. Amen. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lawgiver, the hope of the nations and their Savior, come and save us. O Lord our God. Amen. And our prayers continue. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. With your abundant grace and might, free us from the sin that would obstruct your mercy, that willingly we may bear your redeeming love to all the world. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have this day so graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all our sins and the wrong which we have done. By your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this coming night. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.